Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen for the voice of the Lord, and enter, enter into, his, into peace. his peace. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us listen so to the voice, the voice of, of the Lord, Lord and, and enter, enter into, into his, his peace. peace. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shed by his hands. Let, Let us, us listen, listen to the for the voice, voice of, of the Lord, Lord and, enter and enter into his peace. His peace. Come in and let's bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me though they saw my work. Let, Let us, us listen, listen for the voice of the Lord, Lord and enter into his, into his peace. peace. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us, Let us listen, listen to the voice, the voice of, of the Lord, Lord and enter into his, into his peace. peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us listen, listen to the, for the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord and enter, and enter into, into his peace. peace. 670. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, Christ, the true, the, the only light, light. Son, Son of righteousness, righteousness arise, rise, triumph over, over the shades of night. night. They spring from on high be near, they star in my heart appear. Dark and cheerless is the morn, unaccompanied by thee. Joyless is the day's return, till thy mercies be thy sea. Till they inward light impart, glad my eyes and warm my heart. Visit then this soul of mine, pierce the gloom of sin and grief. Fill me radiance divine, scatter all my unbelief. More and more thyself display, shining to the perfect day. It is good to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad, for the work of your hands are shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they're doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox his strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of the fall. The joss will flourish like a palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they're old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is it's good, good to, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning. The morning. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. 
I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will take out, your, out of your flesh the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land which I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'll give I will you give a you a new heart, heart and, and put, put a new spirit, spirit in you. On the lips of children and of babes, you found, found praise, praise, Lord. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is placed above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind? mortal man that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, and gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, all years. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world out end. Amen. On, On the, the lips, lips of, of children, children and, of babes, and of babes, you, you have found praise, praise Lord. Lord. reading from the second letter of St. Peter. What are we waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you're waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain, so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Lord, guide our, our feet, feet into, into the, the way, way of, of peace. peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He's visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us, that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Lord, Lord guide, guide our feet, feet into, into the way, the way of, peace. of peace. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control. With complete confidence we pray. Father, send us your spirit. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Christ you have given us every spiritual blessing. Father, send us your spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary brought Christ into the world. Through the church, may Christ be born again in the hearts of men and women. Father, send us your spirit. Father, may your spirit lead us forward out of solitude. May he lead us to open the eyes of the blind, to proclaim the word of light, and to reap together the harvest of life. Father, send us your spirit. Let our striving for your kingdom not fall short through selfishness or fear. May the universe be alive with the spirit, and our homes be the pledge of a world redeemed. Father, send us your spirit. Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O powerful eternal God, splendor of true light and never-ending day, at this return of the morning hour, chase away the night of sin and fill our minds with the glory of your coming. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And a prayer for vocations to the priesthood in this Rosebury Diocese. Eternal, Eternal Father, we, we thank, thank you for every priest. priest who has faithfully, faithfully given, given his, his life, life for the, for the salvation, salvation of his brothers, of his brothers and, sisters. and sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to those priests who brought us your word of, word of truth, the grace, grace of the sacraments, and, and above all, all the supreme the gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, Father through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles, apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit, to open, open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Les and Francis Clough.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the Oak of Mamre while he was sitting by the entrance of the tent during the hottest part of the day. He looked up and there he saw three men standing near him. As soon as he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to meet them and bowed to the ground. My Lord, he said, I beg you, if I find favor with you, kindly do not pass your servant by. A little water shall be brought. You shall wash your feet and lie down under the tree. Let me fetch a little bread and you will refresh yourselves before going further. That is why you've come in your servant's direction. They replied, do as you say. Abraham hastened to the scent to find Sarah. Hurry, he said. Knead three bushels of flour and make loaves. Then running to the cattle, Abraham took a fine and tender calf and gave it to the serpent, who hurried to prepare it. Then taking cream, milk and the calf he'd prepared, he laid all before them and they ate while he remained standing near them under the tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked him. She's in the tent, he replied. Then his guest said, I shall visit you again next year without fail, and your wife will then have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well on in years, and Sarah had ceased to have her monthly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, Now that I am past the age of childbearing, and my husband is an old man, it's a pleasure to come my way again. But the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, am I really going to have a child now that I'm old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the same time next year, I shall visit you again and Sarah will have a son. I did not laugh, Sarah said, lying because she was afraid. But he replied, oh yes, you did laugh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembered his mercy. The Lord remembers his mercy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. The Lord remembered, remembered his, his mercy. mercy. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The, the Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. Lord remembered his mercy. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. Lord, Lord remember, remember his, his mercy. mercy. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abram and his sons forever. Lord, remember his mercy. The Gospel Acclamation. 
Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Our Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and he has proclaimed life through the good news. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him. Sir, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he come here, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, nowhere in Israel have I found faith like this. And I tell you that many will come from east and west to take their places with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at a feast in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be turned out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. And to the centurion, Jesus said, Go back then, you have believed. So let this be done for you. And the servant was cured at that moment. And going into Peter's house, Jesus found Peter's mother-in-law in bed with fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she got up and began to wait on him. That evening they brought him many who were possessed by devils. He cast out the spirits with a word and cured all who were sick. This was to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. He took our sicknesses away and carried our diseases for us. The Gospel of the Lord. We are familiar with the words of the centurion to Jesus in this morning's gospel reading. Sir, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be healed. A version of what is said there is now part of the text of our mass. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. How strange that the words of a pagan, a Roman centurion, should come to speak for all of us as we prepare to receive the Lord in the Eucharist. This centurion had tremendous trust in Jesus' word. He believed that Jesus could heal his servant with a word without having to come to his home. In making the words of the centurion our own, we too profess our faith in Jesus' word, in the power of his word to heal us spiritually. We come to the Eucharist as broken people, perhaps broken in body, mind, heart, or spirit. The Eucharist has been described as bread broken for a broken people. Before we approach the Eucharist, we take the words of the pagan centurion in this morning's Gospel reading, and we ask the Lord to heal us by his word. Let us pray. Father, give us a deep devotion to your Son, in the blessed sacrament, and although we are unworthy, be pleased to cure our sickness and wash away our sins so that we may gaze forever on him, Jesus our Lord. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this now and the day of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, true your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to get out Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through our intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life. <coughs> that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life, that all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol. That those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all. <coughs> that we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor. That the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. <clears throat> that we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted, and if it is your will, restored to health. <clears throat> that our Holy Father Pope Francis may have light and guidance in ruling the church. <clears throat> that all people may live in peace and unity, that our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena, and for our personal intentions, Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when, full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who employ her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. You have given your people bread from heaven, the bread which is full of all goodness. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.